Hello everyone, this is Supreme Decision. And today I want to talk about projection. One of the things I find most interesting is the context of false encouragement and the ideal of protection. Many people often project their fears and shortcomings onto others and they want to disguise it as helpfulness or just letting you know because. But once projections of fears or gifted limitations are not yours to be holding because your gifts are just that, the gift for you. They can't see or can't experience what you see or experience because it is not for them to see or experience and your shoes are not made for their journey and their path is not for you to follow. All right, now, with all that, you're probably wondering, why am I going through this long soliloquy? The greatest thing is I actually just found out that most people cannot handle the vast attraction of the ability of the mind. So you need yourself to show you things that they're there, you know, or even make you feel things that can't be touched. Now, I'm going to give you an example. One example of projection is Sacramento Police Officer Terrence Merkindall. He thought a cell phone was a gun. So much so that he testified that he thought he was being shot at. But the thing is, he needed. Devontae Clark to be armed so much and he was in so much fear that not only did he believe in his mind that Devontae Clark's cell phone was a gun, but Terrence Markendall thought he was being shot at. His projection, his fear created an action. That was irrecoverable. The crazy part about it was he testified to this. He said under oath that he believed he was being shot at. Yet the only shot that was fired was from his gun. Why? Because Mr. Clark, he had a cell phone. He wasn't even playing music. There was no meaning for any idea. In fact, Terrence was the only one to believe that there was a gun. He was only out of nine cops over there. Nine. He was only He was projecting a fear. And I often say we're either creating cowards or we're creating killers when I'm speaking about trained and certified police officers. Yet, in the training and certifying, they often police with feelings and projections. Just as Officer Terrence Merkendall did. He has seven non-lethal weapons or non-lethal options on him at all times, yet the first thing he grabs is the one that takes life. Once you think about something, the gun and a cop pan is for protection. Yet the idea of a gun being present or near or even possible, someone that is not a cop, why is that the greatest threat? 